This is my bloody badge um, that I was wearing. Uh, I got it volunteering, but this is all that's left. This is the shirt that I was wearing that they had to cut me out of. Um, I don't know why, because it has buttons, but um, I was asking him basically the same questions every five minutes. And But he had to leave, so he wrote down the answers to my most common questions on a piece of paper. And so it says, the first one is, you were hit by a drunk because I would ask what happened. You were hit by a drunk driver downtown, and you have a bad gash in the back of your head with staples. Uh, I asked, like, where is, like... I asked, do I, is anyone here? Um, and I, it says, your Aunt Carol will be here soon. Your mom is coming in the morning. Your phone is missing. Sad face. Um, you have a bad concussion and, and you're a little confused. So try to relax and sleep. Smiley face. <laughs> and smiley face. Um, it was, I mean, it was one of the night, but it's self by, so there's always stuff going on. And, but should we get to Red River? And that's when my memory starts getting pretty fuzzy. I don't know what you... Um, I would say I remember crossing the street, and, like, we saw the line of people in front of the Mohawk, and I just remember being on the sidewalk, um, and that's kind of where my memory stops, too, but I guess we started crossing, because we were about in the middle of the street whenever uh, we were hit, and then after that, I just remember waking up with people around me. I remember starting to walk to the ambulance, and I, I actually saw Greg, and... He recognized me, and he looked, like, awful, and, like, he went through an apocalypse or something. Um, but I remember he started shouting my name, and, we, like, we kind of tried to walk towards each other, because, you know, after, like, this terrible thing happens, like, you kind of want to be around friends, and he was one of the only people I recognized. I vaguely remember uh, seeing Henri, her friend, there. I remember a couple of things. But during the actual accident, I don't remember so much sights. Like, I don't remember, but I remember, like, sounds. Um, I remember, like, sirens. I remember, like, lots of people yelling. And I remember, like, screaming for Masha, like, trying to find out where she was. Um, like, yelling for her repeatedly. So, I guess it's also really scary not knowing exactly how I felt. Because, like, if I knew that, then I could be like, okay, I should expect some pain here, and then more, like, more pain here. But instead, it's just me kind of, like guessing and then figuring it out later um it's been a unique experience to not know what happened and then to be able to try and piece together like a puzzle like what actually happened from all these different perspectives that other people are giving you oh i saw this and this and this oh i heard this and this and this like oh i saw you doing this and and so you're trying to like fit all these together and then figure out like where you are in it and then people are always asking me like oh do you remember this or this and this I'm like I, I honestly have no idea and like I mean I th I think I was hit by the car but I wasn't not entirely sure like I, I think that I landed on my right side because I had more energy injuries on that side but I'm not entirely sure it's just kind of like lots of guesses and then you hear different things from different people and you're like okay well that kind of supports this, but well, how did this happen? And then this and this and this, and you're just kind of, I don't know, just confused as to how everything, like, I really, like, on one hand, I'm thankful that I don't remember what actually happened, because if I did, I'm, I, I would be extremely traumatic, um, and that's probably why my body forgot it, but on the other hand, it's just so incredibly frustrating, because, like, this experience will definitely have a significant impact on the rest of my life and I'll never know for sure what happened and that and just as the like the kind of person that I am that's always going to really bother me not knowing like the truth I guess